Hey folks, welcome back to Let's Play Atelier Riza 2. How Lent got his groove back, assuming we ever meet Lent again. I'm the Mysterious JG. And I'm Dark Lethal. Dark <laughs> Last Lethal. time, we got our, uh, we got our axe. Mm -hmm. And JG has told me that he has done some stuff off screen and we should be like totally equipped out. So let's see we should be, how blinged out we are. We should be reasonably equipped out. We in fact have... Um, the master bug. Oh, you know what? I, I meant to have this at my disposal. Uh, there were two little scenes that played. I was keeping track of them in case anything happened that I wanted to go back and recreate. And even I can't be bothered to go back and recreate this content. But we got... I made our fishing rod. Because we could make a fishing rod and we never got around to making one. And we got the tutorial on using a fishing rod. And you know what it said? It said, go up to a point where there's fishing. <laughs> And hit the X button, and you will use your fishing rod. So I think we can go without without seeing that tutorial. Uh, right. There was also a tutorial on increasing max quantity. And that is because... Or a quantity of uh, alchemy ingredients that you can put into a recipe. And that's because, yeah, we just hit a thing that was like... Number of quant uh, materials added during synthesis plus one. And the first time I hit one of those, it's like... You can now put one more material in than you used to be able to. Hit... Hit other quantity plus one things, and you'll be able to put plus one on top of that. It's amazing. So that's, yeah, again, not really probably worth recreating off screen. But uh, yeah, while doing a bunch of shit, we, we have unlocked everything that we can unlock right now. Everything that we don't have is gated behind uh, core, drive. core drives and, uh, you know, stuff of that nature. Finding more artifacts, whatever. All right. But we picked ourselves up some... Uh, We've got a, a master bug net, which is a second tier bug net. It's, it's amazing. We've got a fishing rod, which for some reason is not a gathering tool. It's an adventuring tool. They didn't explain this to me. I'm just rolling with it. And of course, we have our golden axe. Mm -hmm. And our we're gear. We're not even a dwarf. No, we're not even, we don't even have any Scotsmen in our party. Uh, we got better armor. Like, I concentrated on giving the Riza better stuff because uh, up to this point, we haven't had to do a lot of character switching. So she's got, like, better junk, particularly her Wapit, which is an Azure, Azure tier. tier. Yes, it's <laughs> made using Goldaterion or whatever the hell. So, question. Mm -hmm. What the hell in God's creation is Sky uh, Sky's lost property L? What does that do? Well, it's it's like Sky's Lost Property S or M, but it's better. It reduces uh -huh. the chance of being afflicted with status effects, which hasn't really been a problem so far, but um, it's kind of the thing that this Wapa does on it. All right. But I'm, I'm happy that we were able to find attack plus speed charge. Pretty cool. Mm -hmm. uh, and then I tried to upgrade, like, Patricia, just because she's... The, the new hotness and new and exciting, I figure she'll probably be in the party a good bit. So I tried to get her a better Whoppet, but in fact, the third tier Null Circle we got is like a garbage Null Circle. It's the, it's the third tier Whoppet, but we didn't have enough to do anything more than just make one. Uh, and like, we can't get any of the stuff on it. So she's actually equipped with a second tier Whoppet that has all of the, the goodies, including Rush Stance L. Increase the attack and stun gauge damage of skills. That's pretty good. It's pretty good. She's also got Mana Heat, which deals additional fire damage when attacking and grants a chance to inflict burns. And I'm not at all confident that actually even happens when you put it on secondary characters, but I suppose we'll find out. And uh, we didn't get uh, What's-Her-Face here, a new Wapit, because I'm not sure that she's going to even hang out in the party once Lent shows up. It's a shame her name's not on screen, right, viewers? Wink. <laughs> I wish I could find it somewhere. It's Maybe it's right, uh, right above level 46. I don't know, but she has a fluffy tail now because... Uh... Wait, that's an installable? <laughs> well, no. It's, mm. a, it's, mm. it's a piece of gear. I, I uh, It's not worth pointing them all out because I don't remember what they all are, but there was a lot of just like... Do, 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 do. Oh, here's a thing. Like, Amalgam would be an example of one I didn't get around to, but it's like, oh, we have the thing to make a thing, so let's go through and make a new thing. So, didn't get all of them, but, like, there's a bunch of new stuff, like, uh, hey, we've got, uh, Alchemy Paint now, and, uh, Sorcery Rose. Like, there's some of that stuff 
was done just to give us like more options for future. When I ran out yep. of off-screening time, I was going down the path of trying to create because this does seem to be uh, in the game. The uh, I guess this is the wrong uh, tree. I'm trying to get the uh, yes the Ashra Donut. <laughs> Which is because uh, why not? We don't have it, yeah. But that's the the, the famous donut of uh, the the donut based DLC. But um, have not quite gotten around to getting us a donut yet. Well, I'm sure Empel will be very happy once he becomes playable, Link. Yes, when we when we start the third game, I'm sure they will check our memory card for evidence that we unlocked his donut preference in the second game. Now, I will tell you this, if we go to where that door was, now that we have a level 3 axe, it don't give a fuck, nothing happens. But I think I figured out what we're supposed to be doing now. Oh my god. And it is, I didn't, I didn't even look this shit up, I just, I just thought it through. We, uh, we uh, lit a bunch of torches and shit in some of these rooms, but uh, not all of these rooms. Mm -hmm. so there's a whole other area where we kind of wandered around and uh, actually didn't light all the torches, so I figure we at least try that before we throw up our hands and scream in frustration. Okay. Which of these screens is it, though? Because uh, there's one, like, there's, like, uh, I think this is the one. It's hard to tell from the map, but there's one that was, like, it turned into screens full of crystal we were like literally climbing up on crystals and shit and um we never uh lit the lamps that were there this one has lamps on the map though yeah so maybe this is the one that had the door these guys really don't want to it does appear to be this. on i was gonna say yeah. there's a lamp to our right it is lit so this isn't the right screen maybe fire people's village Maybe it's a matter of backtracking to an area where... That doesn't seem right either. This one doesn't have any on the, uh, on the map at least, so it could have... Lightables. I think the thing to do... I think there was a... A middle area where we didn't... It's not on our fast travel list because we just didn't... Hit something in that that would put it on our fast travel list. Corroded mine cavern, maybe. No? This is the one we were on just a while ago. It has the uh, the lamps on the map. All right, so I'll tell you what we're going to do. Because I, I definitely was playing around the other night and found it, and I don't remember where it was. We're, we're just going to, like, avoid enemies and navigate through until I hit this place. We've been there before. It's not, it's not some secret. I'm just not uh, quickly remembering how to get there easily. how easily we can avoid all of these enemies because there's a couple there's a treasure chest up there somewhere we didn't get but it is at a great height I think this might be it actually might be some exit out of here that uh by the river of mercury mercury power makeup river That's how it worked. I'm pretty sure. So don't you uh, knights look up above my uh, shorts while I'm up here. Yeah, I got a ripping those. Where is my cavern? Kind of driving me around the bend here. Figuring out where this place was. We'll be back in this rope direction. No, it's just a bunch yeah, of pickup this, this is a bunch of loots. And not even the uh, medieval musical kind. Are there any other exits to this particular map? Well, I think we were, uh, before we were following, like the plot had a specific place it wanted us to go. Now, not so much. So we will we'll want to keep an, our eyes peeled. So we were going through this area, lighting the lamps already. We should keep an eye out for ways out of here. Oh, she even looks like she's got a little uh, scrape on her her bottom. Oh, poor thing. 
It's a high def uh, anime butts for you right there. <laughs> what a time to be alive. Exactly. I'm holding a moon pie while doing this. <laughs> <laughs> a moon pie, see? Because. Because it's the future. We, we have pies from the moon. No, I was I was just thinking this game has like been mooning us, and now we have a, oh. a moon pie yeah, to go along sometimes with. Sometimes I make double jokes without intending. Okay, well, this isn't uh, where I meant to come to. So. Da, 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 da. I've only seen the two exits from here one at the top left and one at the bottom right. Yeah. Well, do you remember us running around in a room. Uh, that was like quite dark. We were running through big sections of unlit area. Yeah, it was at the it was at the beginning of this. Hmm. I believe that would be the Fire People's Village. All right, let's try that again. So let's take a look at the map real quick. Well, it's a big open area. Uh... I think if there's going to be any sort of dark areas, it'd be at that lower right spot spot of it. Because that looks like it could possibly be enclosed instead of open like this. Yeah, that makes sense. Check it out. I'm having flashbacks to... Uh... Here we go. Sort of flashing back to uh, the DLC island where everything was like level 100 with all of this uh, must-not-encounter-enemies action. Oh yeah, I remember that. Which I hope I would. Yeah, it wasn't that long ago. Maybe there's another exit out in this direction. I see these guys are running away from us. This feels right, actually. Uh, until we get to here. Alright, let's squeeze through. Like, I think there might be another exit that's... Uh, it's not just like a little subsection of a larger level. There's like a whole area that I remember getting into. This is, uh, yeah, we, and we drop down. Grab some pages for the road. You know, while we're here. Hmm. That one is not running away. No. Not, no, this isn't it. This is not, uh... Well, the only other place I can figure would be the last one. As far as the fire... Fairy Stone Eaters place, or whatever it's called. Right. Well, I mean... We're never gonna find it if we keep going to a place, exploring a quarter of it, and then giving up and jumping to the next place, so... I'll well, and manually get to the end of this area and make sure we don't come across any surprises. Sure. I was going to say, my counter to that is all the exits are listed on every map. I, I don't think we've ever found a surprise exit in, the, in this game. Welcome back to the Corroded Mine Cavern. Yeah, this, and I don't think this is going to be it. This has got the one at the top, the one at the bottom, so... It wouldn't have been Southern Outskirts before we got into, uh... I don't think it would be that. So, Fairy Stone Eater's Domain it is. Mm-hmm. It's a weird little map. Alright, so then, big old section that we're not going to be able to interact with. Okay, so I'm reading some stuff on here. That if we go to, we should be able to analyze a ruin fragment, Sundor. And that's probably in that last room we were in. Well, hold on a second here. I think that's what ha happened, is we haven't hit the trigger to actually get the memory fragments to show up. Yeah, yeah, no, but like this, uh, this screen, we are not getting our fancy, uh, fancy schmancy, uh, 
view where we have men memory fragments. We're just getting the regular mini-map. Ah, I see. So we think okay. it's here, or... I'm starting to think that we actually go southern I was say, bring up the... No, 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 no. Go back to the... Go back to the thing. Mm -hmm. Open up the map. Uh, we need to find, it looks like we need to go back to the, our favorite place, the corroded, uh, mine cavern. And there's a circular thing in there that we have not looked at. Okay. The circular island in the center. Hmm. All right. Well, that would be the sun idol. So we got, okay. So I know what that is. We have actually looked at that. But why didn't we get the memory fragment from it? We don't have any memory. Well, I, that's weird though, because it shows on the uh, on the big fast travel map, it shows thirty percent complete, even though like we're not getting into the normal <laughs> where we can look at shit. So it it is a bit puzzling. Uh, okay. I'm just gonna try to make my way to the center of this area while you read. I'm really starting to think maybe it's, uh... Can you open up the exploration diary once we're out of this? Mm -hmm. Okay, let's see if we can complete anything on the ancient mana workshop. It's not mm -hmm. doing the normal stuff where we can go in and see stuff. We haven't okay. apparently gotten to that point yet. Thing is so weird. This game is usually not this obtuse. Right. What? No, it's driving me around the bend. I know I've been in an area where I was off. I was gathering elements and seeing unlit torches and telling myself, "Well, don't light those off screen in case they trigger story." And now I just don't remember how I got to that room. And it's it's one we've been in before. So we've got this thing. This is the... Yeah, but I think we okay. triggered a scene with this thing already. Yeah, that is the thing. And... We went to the... We went to the sun door that was over in the other place. And it is saying that we need to make something. Which is sort of indicated as well. We need to make something that actually solves that sun door. Right. Yeah. It's not lighting any torches in this. I'm just going to say that. So we did that. Mm -hmm. No, what I'm wondering is if uh, the thing that triggers us to be able to make that is involves lighting torches we haven't lit yet. I'm throwing that out there as being... There's definitely a bunch of torches we didn't light. I don't, I don't... I don't think it's for some kind of, like, optional thing. I think it's that we missed something. That like it's it's going to trigger us to do. It's going to trigger us to be able to look at fragments and do all that stuff that we haven't done yet. You know, if it weren't for uh, other things that have stopped us from starting to record earlier, I probably should have just found the fucking room that I was talking about before we even started the call. But I was a preoccupied. Mm hmm. Okay. So, we're on Flame is the Key number two, which says, What I saw appeared to be memories of the ruins. I should use the diary to put together what I've... <clears throat> what I've found so far. Maybe there's something I can synthesize. Uh, I should... <laughs> my fucking throat is giving me problems. Mm -hmm. I should try to... Raising my gathering rank, which we of course have. Then it says, Analyze the ruin uh, fragment sun door memory fragments. And then you can return to the Atelier and make the thing that we need. Oh, well, it was the southern outskirts where we've got torches we haven't lit. So it can't hurt to go lighting these goddamn torches and seeing what happens. But it was the southern out. The reason we couldn't find it there is because it was the southern outskirts. It was the last screen of the southern out outskirts. So let's try this out. And if it does nothing, then 
it was going to drive us nuts not to have figured out what it does anyway. We might as well confirm it does nothing if it does nothing. I was going to say, I'll assume it does one thing. What's that? It lights the torches. Well, lighting the torches probably does light the torches. I would agree wholeheartedly with that. Thankfully, these do appear on the map, so we can get to them fairly quickly. Right. This is a good screen to hang out in anyway. Some of these golems are dropping goldenite, which is... I was trying to... You can buy it. It drains your cash reserves very quickly. I was also trying to fight that one gold puny for it. The drop rate is shit. <laughs> Those golems are like... I fought a bunch of gold puny. Like, there, there's only one. You have to reset the room and go back to it. It was taking forever. Then I fought one of these golems, and it's like, oh, yeah, you know what? Here, just have, like, fucking ten of these goddamn golden knights. No problem. I wonder if that was a thing that we needed a, uh, upgraded, uh... Where you I at? don't know. Because this, this was clearly a blocked path until I swung at it with the axe. She looks so happy when she lights uh, torches. She's just really... I'm making a difference. <laughs> I'm making the world a little bit bright. You know, I used to curse the darkness, but then I decided that wasn't really the path, so... Oh, I, I completely didn't register you, you, friend. Sorry. Made out pure meteorite. Well, at least we get to see how the weapons work. Yeah, golems aren't the best enemies to show off how good your physical weapons are, but... We can see how good at least the armor is. We probably. took two whole damage from that attack. Yeah, and honestly, now that I think about it, they probably would have we probably would be doing even shittier without these hot new wapits. Also, someone would have set the thing on fire, which is impressive because it's made out of fucking rocks. <laughs> Slapped it in the face, and now the hyacinth. Well, not well, it did finish off that one. Right. Oh, and we got better, uh, we got better gear. I, I got a, a high end dry biscuit so that we could devote more slots to things like bombs. It's drier than ever. We have an ice bomb now for uh, blowing up stuff that don't like ice. Okay, well, I managed to use all my uh, CC, and then it decided to get froggy. <laughs> but luckily, it was almost dead. Oh, it was almost dead. No getting froggy in our watch. Not froggy. Ah, see, and it dropped the goldenite, so that's handy. Yeah, and it was all for demonstrative purposes. To exactly. Show you yeah, can that's, get gold. That's why I did that. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Cashforgold.com. All right, that's uh, all five of them, I think. One, two, three, four. Did we miss? No, I think I, I think I did a dumb, and missed the one at the southernmost part of that loop. D loop. All right. I, I think I did a dumb. I done dumbed up. But we will rectify that quickly. 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 We will allow our friendship with Quigley to guide our path. It'd be pretty cool to actually walk in a giant piece of quartz like that. I, I appreciate the fact that uh, we don't plunge to our death every time I uh, just kind of skip around randomly. <laughs> because uh, it does look, in fact, like uh, we should have fallen to our death a couple times over now. Word. I've alchemized myself some unbreakable shins. Mm-hmm. <laughs> You did miss this one. And now we've let them all, and it did. Well, it looks like it did nothing. Uh, no, no, it did something. What did it do? It lit the torches. Oh, there you go. All right, so do we want to go to the fires, or the fires, the uh, fairy stone places? I want to grab the two treasure chests that are here and then go there. Okay. Because that is taking us to an extreme end of this place where, again, who knows, maybe something will happen. I was pretty confident that something more than you light the torches 
what happened when we lit the torches, but uh, hope springs eternal, and sometimes that's all it does. It just mm. springs. Sometimes there's just springs. Sometimes the spring is just a spring. Exactly. As Freud told us. Oh, Dawson fairies and some mm -hmm. some golems. <laughs> well, I don't, of course, you have to crawl under these. I was about to say, it really didn't seem like you needed to crawl under that one. That one seemed like... Uh... Oh, we've got a fishing spot. Fish. Fresh to fire. No, you didn't get something better tonight. We got everything that was in there. Yeah. I mean, this is... But there's a big bag of some kind over here that we could probably... The pinkest of all golems. It's so very happy. It is having a, it's it. having a ball. This thing's like a Care Bear in rock form, and we're just going to take an axe to its face. Mm -hmm. it's I a, think we're the bad people. It's a no limit boulder soldier. Ow! That did a little a little uh, bite of damage despite our awesome armor. So. Maybe we can, in fact, perish. Find out shortly. <laughs> Your confidence is touching. Mm -hmm. Well, it's on fire again. Defense max break. Oh, wow. It's not weak against these different elements, which is kind of surprising. Let's try to slow it down. With our ice powers. It was resistant to elements. Although it looks like it did get whatever our status thing is from ice. It did actually land for however long that lasts. <laughs> it landed. You know, it's hard to tell what kind of status it has because it's just shuffling up there. Now it's weak to bombs because as a status effect or something. Could be that that's what's going on. I think we'll just, uh... So now, in fact, we can, uh... Check that. So... It has, uh... Burns level 2. And level 1 frostbite. Okay. Various bad... Yeah, it's got, like, uh... All sorts of bad shit going down. I guess it was weak against fire. Maybe we just... Aha! See, I blocked. I'm awesome. Huh. I think it had various, uh... We just didn't know it was weak against fire yet because we hadn't hit it with fire damage, maybe? Ah. Alright. Well, it's time to hit it again. Ra, ra, sis, ba. I'm a rock, and you're gonna get noxed. Fire and ice. ice. Together at last. Icy hot. We can use icy hot against this gang. So my back feels better than ever. But I'm dead. Maybe that's why. <laughs> All the pain of life is gone. <laughs> oh man, 25 F? What are we gonna do with all these riches? Light a step. For minimal damage. Oh, well, 2670 damage total. Just keep throwing bombs at it. Mm hmm. That's how I approach most of my problems. I believe this is the highest Dark Tactics level has ever been, and it's still not maxed. Someday. Someday. Someday it'll be maxed. Someday, maybe Fred will win the fight. I got a Golem Core. I don't think we've gotten those before. Well, I hope you enjoyed this thrilling episode. Yeah. Next time, we'll open up... No, God damn it! the cliffhanger! Oh, uh, uh, I'll edit that out. Yeah, sure. <laughs> Next time, we'll right. find out which of these three things we get as a loot. As soon as I have time to navigate to stop the recording. <laughs> we'll see you then, guys. Bye.